Hello, this is Joe with Sycamore Life Sciences. I've recently received a few questions from customers pertaining to our microcentrifuge tubes. Uh, specifically, people were wondering what differences, if any, exist between our uh, 1.5 milliliter and 1.7 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes. So in this video, I hope to address that question, provide a little bit of clarity on the issue. So you'll see right in front of us, uh, two microcentrifuge tubes that we carry. Both are graduated to 1.5 milliliters and at first glance look very similar. However, you'll notice that this brand tech tube on the right actually has a little bit of space above that 1.5 milliliter graduation mark. The actual volume of this tube is about 1.7 milliliters, whereas if you look at this tube on the right here, it's actually harder to make out that graduation mark, but um, it's nearly at the same level as the end of the cap there. Uh, so despite the similarity in profile and appearance here, there are some advantages to the brand tech tube on the right there. Uh, and that is that 1.7 milliliter tube provides some extra room if you have a liquid that is going to be at or approaching 1.5 milliliters. Uh, if your sample is near that volume and you stick it in this tube right here and the meniscus is actually on that 1.5 milliliter graduation mark, the liquid's going to be touching the side of the cap here. And as tubes are open and closed, you'll notice that fingers and, and your gloves are going to get all over it. And depending on the way they're handled, it can be a serious source of contamination. If you have a sensitive sample that it, you don't want contaminated, make sure that you have enough room so that it's not coming into contact with the cap. Uh, furthermore, if you have applications that require boiling or autoclaving of a volume at 1.5 milliliters, you might have some spillover if it's put in this tube here. Uh, whereas the Brand Tech tube on the right here, uh, has some extra room for those applications. Really, if you were wanting to use a volume of 1.5 or milliliters or approaching that, I'd suggest purchasing a 2.0 milliliter tube. That might give you a little more wiggle room there. So I hope I clarified that a little bit. And uh, we do have future videos to come. Uh, one of them, or at least the next video, is going to focus a bit on how you can search for these tubes on our site. Um, and how you can use those tools to, to the uh, best of your abilities there. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching.